Hello friends, in this video, let's talk about update with output class. In the previous videos, we talked about insert with output class, delete with output class. When I say update with output class means we are going to update the existing value. <clears throat> See in the insert, we are newly inserting. In the delete, we are permanently deleting from a table. But in the update, so we are going to overwrite the existing value. In this scenario, how the output class works is it should show the old value and the new value. So I need to get the old value and new value from the memory in memory. So which is stored in the SQL server memory. It means that I need to use both inserted and deleted magic objects here. So inserted object gives the new value, deleted output gives the old value. So what I mean here is, so let us say, so this is a, a existing value here. So this is the existing bucket, which is having a value of A. Okay. So I'm trying to update. So this with a uh, B. So I'm trying to update this with a B. So that time, so I need to store my SQL server memory need to store A as a old value and B as a new value. Then it should show A and B in the output uh, class results. So then only I can see the difference what exactly I'm trying to do. So A is getting overrided with a B. Okay, here I need to use inserted as well as deleted. So for the old value, I'm going to use deleted output. Uh, for new value, I'm going to use inserted output. So there is no keyword for updated actually. Here I need to use both deleted and inserted in the output class. Then only I can show the old value as well as new value. So there is no separate keyword which I mentioned here. <clears throat> so when you are updating multiple records, let us say if a table having a multiple records, if you're trying to update in a one statement with multiple values, even though that time also it shows you this. So A, A, B and here I'm going to make it as C, D like this. <clears throat> so this C, assume C is existing and um, uh, D is a new value. So that time also it, it shows you the output like this. So D deleted A and C inserted B and D something like that. So you, you can give a user friendly names for A old value. This is a B as a new value in the output result uh, tab. Okay. So let me quickly show you the uh, practical example here. So for this example, I have one table with a name of EMP. So which I'm using for earlier examples as well. So out of all these uh, operations, I have only one record in this table. You can see this. Okay, I'll insert for one more record for our example. Let me quickly do it insert into EMP values just for our understanding uh, more. Okay, one zero one uh, comma um, uh, John uh, John comma uh, location as uh, UK uh, comma department as uh, twenty. So let me insert the one more record for our purpose. Now, if you see, I have two records with the name 101, 104 and John and Daniel Sandal. <laughs> so now, so let me write update statement. Ideally, you will be writing update like this update uh, set. Uh, what is the name? Mm, update C, update EMP. So hope you know the syntax and the purpose of update. <laughs> okay, that is a prerequisite to know that. Then come to that update table name set mm, what I'm doing location. So I'm trying to update location. Uh, equal to so I'm trying to update to UAE okay uh, where where uh, EIDMP equal to 101 okay so let me try to update this so it's a very basic update statement there is no change there is no output class as of now here so now I'm trying to use this as output class okay so here if you closely observe I have only messages tab i don't have any other tabs now let's quickly go here out update emp <coughs> okay uh, set so what i'm trying to do is uh, location equal to i'm i'm trying to put it as if you see the location of both the employees 
uh, UAE and USA. I'm going to make it as India. Okay, so I'm going to put as output both the employees location. I want to change it to India. Okay, output. Now, as I mentioned, I need to use both the magic tables, both the deleted and inserted. As I mentioned, we do not have an update output uh, keyword. Okay, so I'm going to put as deleted uh, star location. If you want everything, you can put it, but I want the location as old location. Location, comma, inserted, dot, uh, location, as, new, location. Okay, so that's it. So this is how you need to write. If you want to put where, where statement, you can put it. But I want to show you the multiple uh, rows update here. Okay, <clears throat> so let me run this, select this specific command and run this. The difference here is, so I am using this update earlier. This is a very basic update statement without output class. Here I am planning to use with output. Let's select these all three lines and click on execute. So once you click on execute, you can see here. So two rows has been updated here. Two rows affected and completion time in the result tab. You can see old location of the employee is UAE. I updated back, updated to the India. And the old location of the other employee is USA. I updated to India. So if you want to specify ID employee, you can specify that as well. Okay. So now let, let me make it as uh, here as well. Okay. Mm, inserted uh, dot IDMP just to understand. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, 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 let me change this to UK now. Okay. So let me make it. So what are the employees and what are the location changes also you can see. Now 104 location, world location is India, change it to UK. 104 India, world location, change it to UK. So this is how you, you can trace it, what record has been updated, what record has been uh, 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 inserted by using output classes. So this actually is required when you are trying to perform this operation uh, from a front end applications by using .NET or Java or some other applications. Even even from SQL Server Management Studio also, this is useful to us saying that what records has been inserted, what records has been deleted, or you want to uh, you want to insert this data into the other uh, tables you can do that even what see while doing itself I can insert this data into the other tables as well I have an option that as well we'll talk about slowly in one by one um, sessions so that's all about it if you have any questions on the SQL Server 2019 or any version of SQL Server so please drop a message in the output uh, in the comment section I'll, I'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on Facebook page for more technical updates please subscribe and like for more technical videos Thank you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.